Hey guys, what's up? My name is Liz and welcome to my channel and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you three ways that you could deep condition your hair. I'll also be trying out a new deep conditioner which I'm really excited about. So I'm just showing you guys what my hair is looking like. It's been about a week. I've been working out a lot lately and I've just had my hair in like a pineapple or a high bun. So my hair is very dry, frizzy, and it's just time for some TLC. So of course I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and I will leave the shampoo I used down in the description box in case you are interested. And I already have my hair separated into four sections for application of my deep conditioner and I am just going to go ahead and spray that quadrant. Usually I like to apply my deep conditioner in the shower but I just decided to do it outside of the shower so I could show you guys um, the application process. So I'm just making sure I'm working the water into that quadrant. And I'll be using the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Repairing Cocoon Mask for weak, breakage, prone hair. Now this deep conditioner smelled amazing. It was also thick. Like you see how it's thick, like it's thick, but the texture is, it was creamy. It's hard to explain. It's like a thick deep conditioner. But when you start rubbing it into your hands, it gets like goo gooey, slimy-ish, as you could see on my hands, and you'll see whilst I'm applying it, I'll show you more. And when it applied to my hair, it just melted into my hair strands. Like, if you haven't tried any of the hair products from this line from Carol's Daughter, I absolutely suggest this deep conditioner gave what needed to be gave so i like to separate the quadrant into two subsections to make sure that i am getting all of the strands all of my hair strands coated with the deep conditioner so i separate that quadrant and then i take more deep conditioner and i apply it to each subsection and sidebar guys i do suggest applying deep conditioner to damp or wet hair um, that's what works best for me. So I just make sure my hair is really damp or soaking wet. So I just repeat the same process throughout each quadrant. I spray each quadrant with water, work the water in, apply deep conditioner, and then I subsection the quadrant, apply more water, and apply more deep conditioner to each subsection. I also make sure I work the deep conditioner into the quadrants and also the subsections. After applying the deep conditioner to all four sections, I'm going to go back to that first section so I can detangle and really make sure that the deep conditioner is thoroughly worked through that quadrant. Now, also remember when you're detangling your hair, you want to make sure that you're starting from the bottom and working your way up to the top. But th this deep conditioner made it really, really easy for me to, to detangle my hair too. So yes, remember detangling from the bottom to the top and then I just clip it back up. I'm also using a wide tooth comb to detangle, which is what I suggest. But of course, use what works for you. And I do the same to the next three quadrants. Okay, so now that we're done detangling all four quadrants, I'm going to show you the first way you can deep condition. So you just put on a shower cap. If you do not have a shower cap, you can use a Walmart or Target bag, whatever you have on hand. 
I've used both and you just let it sit like this for 15 to 20 minutes now the shower cap the purpose is to trap in heat to help the deep conditioner penetrate better into your hair strands and if you really want to intensify this method you could add a beanie or even a towel or a t-shirt over the shower cap to trap in even some more heat and I've done this numerous times before the second way you can deep condition is using a hooded dryer so this hooded dryer it connects to the blow dryer as you can see if you have a regular blow dryer it just fits on the regular part you don't need the attachment but because of the way this Dyson is I had to put it on with the attachment which it actually worked um, perfectly I haven't used this in a while I used to decondition like this for years so I'm just attaching the attachment to the blow dryer so I could put the nozzle part over the blow dryer and um yeah it's a low-key struggle but if you have a regular blow dryer it'll be even easier so you put the hooded part over your head you make sure it's secured and i do put the blow dryer on the lowest heat with the lowest fan setting because this can get really hot so i sit under this for 10 to 15 minutes when I've deep conditioned this way and once again this is just bringing in heat to help your deep conditioner or your hair mask penetrate better and intensify your treatment and the third way you can deep condition is by using a hair steamer now this is how I currently deep condition um, and I got this steamer off of Amazon and I'm not sure if I said it, but I got the hooded dryer from Sally's I'm pretty sure they sell it or something very similar But I love this hair steamer You just put the water in it and you turn it on and you wait for it to you know heat up and get the steam going It does have a part on the top where you can have it open like circles to let a little bit steam out um, But yeah, this gets heat you know into your hair strand so that the deep conditioner can penetrate so all of these three methods pretty much do the same thing which is trap in some heat so that your deep conditioner can penetrate better into your hair strands and i do sit underneath my steamer for about 10 to 15 minutes it's now time to wash the deep conditioner out of my hair and my hair felt so soft like this deep conditioner was amazing so highly suggested if it's pretty it's new they just came out with it so it's a definitely must try and my curls feel so soft they're moisturized they're clumping they're defined so yes very pleased with these results i'm always pleased um, after deep conditioning with my results I've used all of these three methods before and they all work awesomely so if you don't deep condition I do suggest it there are some great benefits to deep conditioning it increases moisture promotes elasticity adds shine prevents damage helps with manageability so I love deep conditioning it has tremendously helped the health of my hair if you do not deep condition I highly suggest deep conditioning at least once a week if you can't once a week once every other week so yeah so now I'm just rinsing out my deep conditioner and I do rinse my deep conditioner out with warm water and this is what my hair is looking like guys my hair feels so awesome and soft and amazing so yeah highly suggest deep conditioning and this is the end of the video guys I want to thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and support your girls channel and I will see you in the next video